Hi guys, today in this video we are going to look at the Lewis structure for azide ion. It is made up of three nitrogen atoms and it has a negative charge as it accepts one electron and hence the, we put up the the sign of a negative charge like this. Now to understand the Lewis structure for this ion, we will first need to know the total number of valence electrons. So each nitrogen atom has five valence electrons in its outer shell, but because as there are three atoms over here, we are going to multiply this number by three and plus the extra electron it is accepting will be added to. So in total we have 16 valence electrons. Now place all these nitrogen atoms in a linear geometry like this. Now place a pair of electrons between two nitrogen atoms to show a bond. This way we have used up four valence electrons out of 16. Remaining electrons will be placed around atoms to complete the octets of all nitrogen atoms. We will start with the uh, atoms that are on the outside first. So we will first complete the octets for the nitrogen atoms placed on the outside and then we will proceed to the central atom. So uh, here you can see that both these nitrogen atoms have 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. But when we come to central nitrogen atom, it only has 4 valence electrons. So to complete its octet as well, we will uh, shift one pair of valence electrons from this nitrogen atom in between the, the central atom and this uh, atom on this side. And we will repeat the same for this side as well. Now what will happen is doing this will help us achieve complete octet for the central atom as well. This way, the, all the three nitrogen atoms have uh, eight valence electrons in its outer shell. So this is the Lewis structure for azide ion in which there are two double bonds between nitrogen atoms. And for more videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity, hybridization and balancing equations, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.